So if you're relatively new to Mac OS, you may not be aware that there is an OCR solution for voiceover. And if you are aware, you may not be aware of how it works, how to get it, etc., etc. So today we're going to be talking about VOCR, which is a solution that she can put together for us so that we can OCR in accessible installation windows, uh, maybe look at some stuff in complete control quickly, find a button in a plugin window that you need that doesn't show up in controls view, et cetera, et cetera. Those are all good uses for VOCR. Welcome back to the channel, VoiceOver Warriors and Keyboard Ninja. Let's get into how we can get VOCR set up, installed. We're going to have to get past some security preferences before we can use it as well. So I'm going to walk you through that entire process today. So if you're unaware, on Mac OS 10.14, that's Mac OS Mojave or earlier, VOCR relied on keyboard maestro to be installed. What was going on was they're using some open source OCR and stuff and it was all packaged together using JavaScript and Keyboard Maestro to make it all work. But in 10.15 Catalina, Chi was able to take advantage of some API for Vision Kit and was able to do the whole thing as a standalone app, get better results, not have to rely on Keyboard Maestro. So that is no longer required if you're going to install the standalone app version if you're running Catalina or later. And a lot of people would agree that if you're not on Catalina or Big Sur, having access to this version of VLCR is a very much a reason that is worth it. And if you're on an M1 Mac, I believe VLCR runs even faster there. All right, so right now we are on the GitHub page. There will be a link to this GitHub page in the description below, but you can also just Google VOCR space GitHub and it will usually be the first result that you can find as well. So once you're on the page, you can jump by headings and you'll eventually find a readme that has some instructions about how this works, how to use it, etc. And you'll find another heading for download and that's how you can download it. There are also instructions if you're coming from Mac OS Mojave or earlier, how you can uninstall the old version that relied on Keyboard Maestro and use the new version going forward all the information is on this page. So right now I'm going to enable quick nav and just use the number two to jump by head and level two so we can get to the download heading and go ahead and download this. So quick nav on heading level two, latest commit heading level two, get stats heading level two files heading level two link read me MD. All right. So this is a read me. You can just use VO left and right arrows to navigate through this and read the read me, but I'm going to hit at in level two one more time heading level two download and this is where you can find the download so i'm going to view right arrow here is the direct link to download link vocrv 1.0.0 beta 2. all right so i'm just going to view space on this to start the download to cancel toggle button allow toggle button and because i've not downloaded from the site yet before i'm just going to have to view space on allow as well link vocrv 1.0.0 beta 2. all right so we got that downloaded i am going to quit safari for now Finder, desk. I'm back on Finder. Downloads, now in, download. I just did Command Option L to jump to my Downloads folder. And if I just type V O. VOCRV 1.0.0 beta, two zip, zip archive. There we go, we got VOCR. Now, if you have your security settings set to automatically open files, this will automatically unzip for you. I apparently have that turn off on this computer. So I'm just gonna press Command down around this to open this zip folder. Open selection, archive view, Finder, downloads, window. All right, it just unzipped it for me. VOCR app, application. There we go, VOCR.app, that's the file I'm looking for. So now all I gotta do is copy this file and paste this into my applications folder. So Command C. Copy VOCR app. And then now I'm gonna press Command Shift A to go to my application folder. Applications. And. Airfoil, amp kit app, app. Okay, I'm in my application folder, so I'm gonna do Command V to paste. Paste item. All right, there we go. And if I do V O C R app application, I just started typing V O to jump to V O C R, and now I can run this app. And I usually, as I said earlier, I just do Command Down Arrow to open things in Finder. So I'm going to hit Command Down Arrow. Open selection, application alert system dialog. V O C R app is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Safari downloaded this file today at 10:23 a.m. from GitHub releases to FoodUserContent.com. Apple checked it for malicious software and none was detected. Help button. One system dialog displayed. All right, so that basically tells us what's going on here. The OCR app is an app downloaded from the internet. Safari downloaded this file today at 10. Cancel button. Open default button. All right, and I just view right arrow over to open. I'm going to view space on this. Finder, applications, window, column view, browser one item selected. The OCR app, group, 60 of 62. 
And now, as you can tell, it looks like we're just right back in Finder. So VLCR doesn't have a interface at all. We just have key command that we can use to trigger it once it's running. And you can verify that it's running if you do VOM twice quickly to get to your menu bar. Men menu extras, VOCR, menu extra. You see there's now a VOCR item on your menu bar, and that's how you can tell if it's running. And that's also how you can quit it. So if I VO space. Menu, sound output ellipsis, about, quit. You see quit is one of the options on that menu. Now, I don't plan to quit this, so I'm just gonna hit escape. Finder, applications, window. All right, there we go. Now, there's a bunch of permissions we're probably going to have to allow before this would really truly fully really work. And what we can do is if we do command control shift W, that will try to OCR the window, and it will probably prompt us that we need to allow it in system preferences. So command control shift W, one system dialog displayed. System has new system dialog. Column view. Browser one items vertical splitter. And I'm going to do VOF1 twice quickly to see the system dialog. Finder. Application chooser menu two items. System dialogs menu. Here we go. System dialogs menu two items. Accessibility access from universal access off worn. All right. So I'm going to. Accessibility access. That. System dialog. Deny. Default. But deny. Open system preferences button. Real space on open system preferences. Finder. Applications. With system preferences. Security and privacy. Window. Toolbar. Now, I'm going to jump to the bottom of this window so I can unlock it. With security and privacy and system preferences, you do have to unlock it first. So I'm going to jump to the bottom of this window so I can do that. So VO end. Once again, if you're on a laptop, that's going to be VO FN and a right arrow. Help button. All right. So I'm at the bottom. I'm going to VO left arrow back over to the unlock button. Advanced. Dim. Click the lock to make changes button. There we go. Click the lock to make changes. So if I VO space on this. Help button. In dialog, use password button. System preferences is trying to unlock it. Touch ID or enter your password to allow this. You can either use your password or your fingerprint to allow this. I'm going to use my fingerprint this time. Help button. All right, there we go. We got that unlocked. So now. Advanced, but click the lock to prevent further changes button. I'm just using VO left arrow to navigate back through this window. Click the lock to prevent remove button. Add button. Table, no selection. All right, so this table will have the list of things that we allowed under accessibility. So let's interact In with table, this. Sound source app, VOCR app, zoom.us app, VOCR app, uncheck checkbox. There we go, VOCR is now here, so I'm gonna check VOCR that. app, check checkbox. And now I'm gonna stop interacting with this table. Auto table. I'm gonna view left, because there's a table with a list of other security categories. Allow the apps below to control your computer. Privacy categories, table, accessibility, selected. There we go, privacy categories, it's on accessibility. In privacy categories, table, accessibility. Selected. Accessibility. Row 9 of 19. There's usually a few more of these we need to allow. Input monitoring. Full disk access. Files and folders. Screen recording. I just VO down arrow to screen recording. Cut off privacy categories. Uh, table. Allow the apps below to table. No select in table. QuickTime player app. Check QuickTime player app. Check checkbox. So VOCR is not listed here yet. So I'm going to leave this system preference pane open for now. So let's go ahead and try to OCR the screen again. So command control shift W. Screen recording. System dialog. Open system pref application. Alert. System dialog. VOCR app wants access to control voiceover app. Allowing control will provide access to documents and data in voiceover app and to perform actions within that app. Speak announcements and take screenshot under voiceover cursor. Help button. All right, there we go. So VOCR app wants access to control voiceover app. Allowing control will provide access to documents and data in voiceover app and to perform actions within that app. Speak announcements and take screenshot under voiceover cursor. Don't allow button. Okay, default button. So let's go ahead and allow that. System preferences, security and privacy window. And then I thought there was another announcement that popped up as well. So I'm going to check. One system dialog displayed. There we go. VOCR app. Uncheck checkbox. There we go. It's now in our table in a screen recording. In. Check. Checkbox. Uncheck. Checkbox. Uncheck. Ch VOCR app. Uncheck. Yep. Checkbox. So let's check that. You can choose to quit the OCR app now or do it later. Button. Quit and reopen. Button. Let's quit and reopen. Closing dialog. One system dialog displayed. So we got a new uh, dialog. So I'm going to do VOF1 twice quickly to see that. System application chooser menu three. System dialogs menu. System dialogs menu two items. Screen recording from universal access off worn. There we go. Screen recording. System dialog. Open system preferences button. Deny. Default. Deny. Open. Help button. Open system preferences button. Okay. So because we left system preferences open, we already approved this. System preferences. Security and privacy. Window. Toolbar. But I just went ahead and press open system preferences again so I could clear that notification. So now that we got that taken care of, so let's go ahead and quit this. Menu, menu extras, VOCR. VO space on this. Menu, three, sound out, about, quit, quit. And let's System quit preferences, that. security and privacy. All right, so now I'm going to jump back to Finder. So command tab back to Finder. Find, Finder, applications, window, vert. And. Utilities, VOCR app, application. There we go, VOCR app. Command down arrow to open this. Open selection. Alert, system dialog. 
I just did Control Command Shift V, which I believe takes a picture under the voiceover cursor. The OCR app wants access to Control System Events app. Allowing Control will provide access to documents and data in System Events app, and to perform actions within that app. Speak announcements and take screenshot under voiceover cursor. Don't allow button. Okay. Def okay. Default button. Okay. Application. Dialog. Voiceover must be running with Apple Script support enabled. Voiceover must be running with Apple Script support enabled. Cancel button. Okay. Def okay. Default button. Finder. Applications. Window. The OCR app. Application. All right. So the next thing we want to do is go into voiceover settings and enable Apple Script to control voiceover. So I'm going to press VOF8. Voiceover utility. Voiceover utility. Window. Utility categories. Table. And that option is usually in this first window that comes up. So I'm just going to hit VON to jump to the end of this window. Help button. And once again, that's VOFN right arrow if you're on a laptop. And now I'm going to do VO left arrow. Allow voiceover to be controlled with Apple Script. Uncheck. Checkbox. There we go. So I'm going to VO space on this. Application. System dialog. Voiceover utility is trying to modify your system settings. Enter your password to allow this. Username. Right, let's type password. in my password. Password. Secure edit. Voiceover utility busy. System has new system dialog. Cancel button. Modify settings. Default button. One character. Password. Secure. Let's type in my password here. Dimmed on check. Allow voiceover to be controlled with Apple Script. Checkbox. Help. But allow voiceover to be controlled with Apple Script. Check. Checkbox. And we see that box. It's checked now. All right. So let's go ahead and quit voiceover utilities with Command Q. Finder. Applications. Window. The OCR app. Application. And let's try uh, Command Shift W again. Finished. And that time it said finish. So now if I do control command data, I can read through this. Applications IDC BOLG display. Favorites Reaper. Reaper arm. Add airdrop. Sound. Reminders app. So this is basically OCR in my finder window for applications. Yeah, you hit. Exit the OCR navigation. And we're going to take a look at using this to run an inaccessible installer. But you should know that you can also use VLCR to OCR an image to recognize an image that's under the voiceover cursor and that's the one I did earlier with control command shift V. Also there is options for positional audio and to export the OCR hex to a document. Check the GitHub page. It has a list of key commands and examples of different use cases that you can use with VOCR. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic, or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover, you can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and VoiceOver. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.